Let's stay a little longer with the Works and Housing Ministry because we are almost entering the rainy season and flooding is going to lead the headlines. But government says the country is too late in fixing the problem. Here's Sector Minister Kujo Ponkroma. We have a national flood control program which over the years has not been very well funded. So far, the data that we've put together suggests that we've only been tackling 2% of the Greater Accra flooding challenge, only 2%. Mm -hmm. And that's because of a resource constraint. Mm. Uh, it is taking the World Bank to come in and assist us as a republic with a Garrett project. And even that one has had problems in implementation and we're trying to move the contractors and the consultants mm -hmm. to be a, you know, a, a bit quicker. So that's a challenge on its own. Then you have the coastal protection challenges. Um, tidal waves are rising, global warming is leading to rising water levels. We have a lot of our coastal lines that are now being attacked mm -hmm. Uh, by high waves. I've recently done a tour of the Western Corridor right. where there are major challenges. Go to Dansuman, for example. Parts of the road are being eaten up now because of the sea waves. Mm. And we have to, again, contend with that and uh, 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 mitigate or build these sea defense projects to uh, protect them. So there are a number of challenges. But in the time and resource constraints that uh, are handed to us, we'll do our best. And, and, and you have the resources to execute them? We don't have all the resources. We have to make a case for the resources. We continue to make a case for the resources. I'm very grateful to the Minister uh, for Finance, uh, my brother Amin, who understands very much the need to uh, provide and to prioritize uh, some of these things. And we look forward to working together to deliver as much of the solutions.